Hello everybody, and welcome to Legend Solar Stadium here in the beautiful sunny St. George, where your Dixie State Trailblazers host Point Loma Sea Lions. Tonight we have an exciting matchup as two excellent teams face off down on the pitch. Beautiful, beautiful night here in St. George. Couldn't ask for better weather to a wonderful match of soccer. Both teams you'll see taking their positions on the pitch as this match is about to get underway. Looks like your Point Loma Sea Lions will be kicking off starting tonight's match. DSU is three and two in the previous five matches against Point Loma with four of those five results overall having been won on the home side. So DSU going into this match is, is I mean, both teams obviously going into the match expect a big win for tonight. Uh, but uh, DSU having the, the last couple games, having won, really expect that big win tonight. Looks like a big boot from Zach Nilsson, Dixie State keeper. It's going to be called out of bounds by the ref for Dixie State throw-in. Dixie State will throw it in to the defensive end where they'll pass the ball back to Brian Baugh. Brian Baugh is going to look to play it forward. Looks like Moises Medina is going to have a run, but he'll be called off sides. Just a few minutes in to tonight's match, both teams look to, to see how the other team plays to really, to really take advantage of these first few minutes and get a feel for for your your defense, your offense, for team strategy, you know these these first few minutes in, in every match uh, are, are critical. They're critical in in knowing how your team's going to function and how the opposing team is going to function. So you can start to formulate those plays, start to get a feel for the runs you want to make, in order to work the ball down the pitch and and put one into the back of the net. Looks like. Looks like it's going to be out of bounds for a sea lion throw in. They're going to shift downfield. I apologize. I didn't introduce myself. My name is Kyle Cummings. I'll be your commentator for the night. I'm excited to be here and watch both these teams play off. Looks like the sea lions are going to get it down into the attacking portion of the field. It'll go out for a corner kick. like sea lion corner kick about to go underway big kick past the goal nobody there looks like 23 is going to attempt to send it back in but he'll send it back over sea lion in dangerous territory he's going to send the ball across close attempt just far looks like it was nudged out of bounds by Dixie State defense dangerous play for Dixie State Zach Nielsen came out to to block it. Couldn't quite get a, get a hold of it. Another big sea lion corner kick. Looks like the Sea Lions will take another corner, this time from the other side. They'll send it over into the box, and it goes in. Looks like an easy touch for your Point Loma. Just few minutes into tonight's match, Point Loma has scored with an easy touch off of a corner kick. Dixie State really asleep, needs to wake up if they, they want to get back into this match. Looks 
you know, I got I got to hand it to Point Loma. They they came out strong, and uh, they gave it their all here in the first few minutes. Dixie, they took advantage of Dixie, you know, asleep, and uh, looks like Finn Tideman put that uh, put that goal in. Looks like that was his first for the season. Looks like they're gonna foul called before the shot taken. That goal just there in the third or fourth minute, again put in by Tideman, assisted by Siegfried. Leaves Point Loma one, Dixie State zero, just four or five minutes into the first half. Dixie State trying to work the ball up. Moises Medina on the far side of the pitch. Point Loma's going to pass it back to the keeper who will give it a big boot. Point Loma still maintaining possession of the ball. Working to take it down the field. Looks like Dixie defense number 19. Zach McColl is going to recover. And give it a big boot forward. It'll go out of bounds for a C-line throw in. Dixie State's going to attempt to work the ball up the field. Moises Medina with possession. He's going to attempt to cross it in. Big boot by the sea lions. Again, Moises Medina with possession. Looks like he's going to get a foot on it. Couldn't quite get it past the keeper, though. He'll go out of bounds. Looks like that was number 25. Good effort, R Ricardo Villa. Looks like Dixie State's going to have a throw in in the attacking third. Brian Baugh, we know he's got a powerful throw in. Expect to see big things. Dixie State looking for the opportunity to counter, put another one back in, equalize it. Brian Ball, big throw, headed out. Brian Ball's going to take another throw. A big throw. Looks like Dixie just missed it. It'll be out of bounds for another Dixie State throw in. Dixie State's going to work the ball back into the defensive line. They're going to swing it around. Number 10, Beza, going to attempt to work it up. Mitch Wilkinson. Looks like Point Loma is going to send it out of bounds. You know, just taking a minute to reflect back on that early goal. Before yesterday, I had the opportunity to attend Dixie State practice and, and sit down and talk with Brian Baugh for a minute. And, and he said one of the things – they worry about coming out is Point Loma comes out with everything. Looks like a Dixie State headed is header is going to go out of bounds. Like I said, Brian Baugh had mentioned, you know, one of the big worries that the team has or, or something, not necessarily a worry, but a concern, is something they have to be aware of is that, that Point Loma, they, they come out of the gate. The second that whistle blows, they are all in, going with everything they have. And uh, they, they really demonstrated that tonight. We, you know, we saw, we saw just in the first few minutes a great goal. Um, bad, bad defensive positioning uh, by Dixie, and, and Point Loma took advantage of that and uh, tapped an easy one into the goal. 
So uh, really, we, you know, we see that come true. So we need to see Dixie really step up their game now and uh, counter to equalize this match and get back in it. D Dixie defense still maintaining possession. Dangerous play. Brian Baugh's going to have to give it a big boot. Point Loma trying to work the ball down. Still maintaining possession. Looks like they're going to try and cross it over. Dixie's going to deflect. Good work by Mitch Wilkinson and Moises Medina. Still maintaining position, trying to work the ball down. Moises Medina's going to have a shot off the crossbar. Excellent look by Moises Medina. Great shot just off the crossbar. Dixie's going to cross it over and out of bounds for Point Loma goal kick. Again, Moises Medina with a great opportunity. He put his head up. He saw the goal. He he let it fly. Unfortunately, off the crossbar. But uh, you know, I it, it nonetheless the right idea shows Point Loma that that uh, you know Dixie's still very much in this. That they are still very much ready for tonight's match, and uh, they're looking to equalize and come back. Looks like Dixie State's going to try and send the ball forward. No one there to receive. It'll go out of bounds. Headed out of bounds by Dixie State defense for another point Loma throw in. Point Loma, will, looks like they'll come up with possession, huh? I spoke too soon, Dixie State. Mitch Wilkinson will pass it out wide. Big boot. It'll be scooped up by Point Loma keeper. Looks like that's going to be keeper Lasota. Give it a big boot. Like the ref will call handball. It'll be a Point Loma free kick. Point Loma will take a quick free kick out wide. They're going to attempt to send it in. Moises Medina received it. Couldn't maintain possession of it, though. They're going to send it in again. Headed by, looks like, number seven. Fuller of Point Loma, but it's going to go far left and out of bounds. Zach Nielsen to take the goal kick. No one there to receive the goal kick but Point Loma. Working the ball on the far side of the pitch. Looks like a good flick. Unfortunate touch goes out of bounds. Dixie State throw in. Brian Ball throw it back to the defensive line who's gonna swing it. Alexis gonna send it back. Dixie State playing, playing keep away over here. Looks like it's going to be a foul on Point Loma.
Big boot by Dixie State 19. Zach Nicole. Point Loma's going to attempt to send it through, get tripped up in the on the way. And uh, it'll be a free kick. Point Loma with the quick kick. Send it back to the defensive end. They're going to attempt to work it down that far side. It'll be out of bounds for a Point Loma throw in. Point Loma switching the ball to the close end of the pitch. Loma maintaining possession, trying to find a way to work it down. Good pressure. Good pressure from Dixie State. They're going to take over possession. Point Loma looking to get into attacking range. They're going to send it. Looks like number nine of Point Loma trying to work the ball. He's going to send it forward. Dixie State there to receive. Dixie State's looking to counter. Moises Medina with possession. Trying to create something or find an open man. Moises Medina is going to attempt to send it. Doesn't quite get to intended target. Ricardo V on that close side. Looks like Skatner of Point Loma is going to send it back over. Back to, back to number six. Jacob Skatner is gonna gonna look to send it down the field. Close attempt, but it'll go out of bounds. Brian Baugh to take the throw in. Out of bounds again. Headed by Point Loma, Mitch Wilkinson to recover. Mitch Wilkinson's going to pass it back. Looking for the open opportunity. He's going to have a hit. Looks like it's going to be blocked, deflected by, by Point Loma defense. It'll head out of bounds for Dixie State corner. Good opportunity again. Looks like Dixie State quick corner. They're going to send it through. Moises Medina with possession. Gonna send it on the ground, but no one there but Point Loma players to receive scooped up by the keeper. Lasota. Lasota's gonna throw it on the ground where he looks to to send it downfield. Dixie State with possession are going to switch it over to this this close end, Ricardo Villa. Figuring out what he's going to do. He's going to send it forward to John Deere Porta. Porta couldn't quite get there. The Sea Lions maintaining possession.
Oh dear, Porta is gonna fight for it. He'll take it. Looks like good, good passes. Via out wide. He'll send it back. Unlucky touch by Moises Medina. The sea lion defense gonna swing it. They're gonna send it into the middle of the field. They're gonna send it out wide. Looks like Nielsen's there to recover. But it'll be called off sides. They'll play it quickly. Via. Handball called on number nine, Whelan of Point Loma. Dixie State. Looks like Dominic D'Amato is going to send it forward. Point Loma will recover and start working down the pitch. You know, I got to say I'm surprised we're nearly 20 minutes into the first half, nearly, you know, nearly halfway through the first half, and uh, only two shots. Both teams have only taken two shots. And, you know, Dixie State uh, off the crossbar on one of them, and uh, Point Loma obviously easy tap into the back of the net and put them one up. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised both teams, like I said at the beginning, you know, both of these teams are, are good teams. They're excellent um, offensively, defensively. Looks like there's going to be a substitution for Dixie State. Uh, looks like Enrique Busio will be coming in for Zach Beckman. But uh, like I was saying, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised this far in only seeing two shots with uh, Dixie State having one off the post and, and Point Loma having that easy tap in off the corner. I'm expecting to see uh, triple, quadruple times the amount of shots that they've taken thus far. You know, both these teams have great shooters, and I expect to see big things throughout the night. Porta is going to send it back to Zach. Zach's going to go ahead and send it forward. Looks like Point Loma there to receive. Good pressure by Ricardo Villa of Dixie State. It'll go out of bounds for Point Loma throwing. Chain of headers there. Looks like Dixie State is going to send it back to Zach. He'll look for an open man. He'll send it to Ricardo Villa. He's going to chest it down. Looks like number 10 of Dixie State, Veza, is going to attempt to throw it real quick, but the uh, referee is going to call him out and say, hey, none of that now. It's uh, Point Loma throw-in. Point Loma into the attacking range. Good defense by Dixie State. Vio has it on the side. I can see line throwing. They're going to attempt to cross it back in. <laughs> Looks like 19 from Point Loma will have a go. Siegfried just over the top. State goal kick. Point Loma working it defensively. 
Good pressure by Medina. Dixie State really putting the pressure on. Doesn't let him get a shot off. Porta's going to send it through to Medina, who stays on sides. Medina's going to have a hit here. It's going to go far, far right. Medina looking a little frustrated down on the pitch. He knows he didn't capitalize on that opportunity. But there's no time now to let your head down. You got to keep it up. You got to stay focused. You know, you got to keep shooting. You know, you, you can't score unless you shoot. And you, you, you won't make it. You can't focus if you're worried about missing. He's got to keep his head up. He's got to keep the mentality that he's going to put one into the back of the net. Medina is, is he's, he's a key player on Dixie State offense. There's no doubt about it. You can't argue the stats are there. One of the leading goal scorers. You just, you, you got to let him do his thing. Unfortunately, there will be missed ones, but uh, you know the ones you make into the back of the net make up for those missed shots. Point Loma defense. Looks like Keeper is going to send it real far forward. Looks like Point Loma maintaining possession. Number seven. Looks like pretty aggressive play. 23 is left alone. Misses. 23 left unguarded. Receives the ball and takes a shot, but goes, looks like possibly deflected by the keeper. It's going to go far left. Point Loma corner kick. Again, Dixie State needs to get ready for the defensive set pieces. Big corner kick headed out by Dixie State. Point Loma's going to recover, though. Trying to get fancy. Doesn't work out for him. Dixie State will take the ball. and Looks like aggressive play. Dixie State will be... State will take the free kick. They're going to switch switch sides. Brian Baugh is going to send it forward. Kicked out of bounds. Looks like looks like they'll hand it off for the throw in. Dixie State trying to create an opportunity to get that equalizer. Beza is going to send it forward to Medina. Who looks like he got shoved to the ground, but no call by the referee. Point Lomo will send it forward. Zach back on the defensive end. Zach who will send it to Zach. Zach Nielsen, of course, in the keeper position. Just going to send it out to Brian Baugh. You know, overall, I'd say the, the game has been very evenly matched. Point Loma snuck in a, a quick one there in the first few minutes. Dixie State still asleep. They put it, tapped an easy one into the back of the net. But uh, ever since... Uh, the game has been very evenly matched on both ends. Looks like a defender mistake. Looks like 2v1 to Medina. Medina one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. It's going to go into the back of the net. Goal! Lasso! It's a great goal by Moises. Medina into the back of the net. Mistake by the defensive point Loma player. It's going to allow the opportunity for Dixie State to go 2v1, and Moises Medina takes the opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one v keeper, and uh, he'll put it into the back of the net. That's that equalizer. Dixie State is back in this. The game's energized now. One-to-one. -one. Dixie State won. Point Loma won.
very much needed. Like I said earlier, Moises Medina, is, is, he's an excellent player on that offensive line. You get him the opportunity like that, one-on-one -on -one via the keeper, and, and he'll take advantage of it. Looks like Dixie State's going to going to attempt to work the ball forward. They'll lose possession, though. Both teams fired up now. You know, I got I to gotta give credit to uh, Enrique Busio as well, who, uh, you know, took advantage of Point Loma defense mistake, really took advantage of it, worked it forward. He saw Modena there open. And, and placed the ball so perfectly ahead of Point Loma defense that Moises Medina could capitalize on that 1v1 opportunity. And, uh, you know, that's that's Medina's seventh goal for the season. Again, an, an excellent combo play by the two. Uh, but, you know, you got to give credit to Enrique uh, with, with to read the defensive player and take advantage of that mistake, really put them in prime opportunity for Medina to net that one into the into the goal. Great work by Dixie Dixie offense. Expect to see big things from them. You know, looks like we are just 28 or so minutes into the first half, just over 15 minutes remaining. And uh, both teams, four shots on goal with, sorry, excuse me, four shots taken with both teams. And, uh, one shot on goal for each of them, and one goal for each of them. Looks like Point Loma's going to have another shot on, uh, shot on, but it'll it'll be over. Looks like Indiana Fuller took that shot, so through the uprights. Zach Nelson with a big boot. Brian Baugh trying to receive. Whoa, Brian Baugh is going to be a lot of shoulder there. A lot of shoulder, a lot of uh, a lot of arm extension there. Looks like it would be a foul on number seven, Indiana Fuller. Looks like the ref's going to call another foul on Point Loma. Looks like the ref's going to have a word with Point Loma players. Point Loma man down. Excuse me, not having a word, just making sure he's okay. Looks like that foul was, in fact, on Dixie State. Point Loma player still down. Either the ref needs to call substitution or the player needs to get up. Looks like he'll stand up with the help of teammates. He's going to try and walk it off. Ref will blow the whistle and resume play. Point Loma defense working the ball back. Dixie State, Mitch Wilkinson is going to get tripped up. And uh, it'll be foul on Point Loma. Dixie State working the ball in the middle. Point Loma will take over. 
Point Loma will send it, but uh, Zach, the keeper, will call it off. And he'll, he'll scoop it up. For all of you just tuning in, we have your Dixie State Trailblazers here at home in the Legend Solar Stadium facing off against the Point Loma Sea Lions from San Diego. Again, a beautiful night here at Dixie State. Beautiful weather. Good night to be under the lights. Looks like we're going to have a uh, substitution for uh, both teams. Looks like Christian Hall will be going in for Ricardo Villa. Lucas Pergato will be going in for Navarro Jorge. And uh, Chris Rain will be going in for Mitch Whelan. Dixie State throwing. Dominic D'Amato. Looks like Mitch Wilkinson's going to switch the ball to Alexis. Alexis is going to switch it back and send it, but uh, Point Loma there to receive. Dixie State defense. Point Loma attempting to work the ball up. Dixie State, Point Loma playing with it. Looks like it's going to be going to head out of bounds. Looks like Dixie State will try and send it forward. Can't quite get it there. Dixie State moving into the attacking third. Moises Medina is gonna, he's gonna send it over. It looks like it's gonna be an easy one, right to the keeper, Lasado, who will throw it out. Mitch Wilkinson with good pressure is gonna take it back over and attempt to work it through. Mitch Wilkinson still maintaining possession. Mick Wilkinson piles up in the box. But no foul called. Looks like out of bounds for Dixie State throw in. Brian Baugh, their key throw in. It's going to come up from the defensive line to throw it in. Good opportunity for Dixie State. Brian Baugh is going to launch it into the box. Just missed. Ooh, looks like they're going to have a strike. Looks like that was number six from Dixie State. Enrique Busio will take a strike. Bounced off a couple players. Gave him the opportunity. Uh, none, I mean, it, it was a tough one nonetheless. It'll just go wide. And uh, Point Loma, Sea Lions will have the goal kick. Looks like Point Loma working the ball in the middle, trying to find an open passing lane. Unfortunate touch will head out of bounds for Dixie State throwing. I'd like to thank all, like to take this time to thank all of you tuning in live, uh, wherever you may be, for watching and supporting your Dixie State Trailblazers. Uh, or your your Point Loma Sea Lions, uh, no matter what team you're watching, we we appreciate you supporting these players, as the fans make a you know a crucial part of the game. Looks like a good send by Dixie State. He's gonna stay on sides. Work the ball into the middle. Looks like Medina with the ball. Just the top of the box. Good pressure by Point Loma though. It's gonna head out of bounds. Ryan Baugh's going to run forward again to take it. Looks 
like we're going to have a big throw by Brian Baugh. Ooh, headed by Dixie State, but it's going to go very up and and over. Dixie State with that, that header there. Looks like that was taken by Christian Hall. Got a head on it, luckily, but uh, unfortunately couldn't bring it down. Looks like we have a Point Loma substitution. Paul Sweet will be going in for Tim Siegfried. The fans angry and upset, calling handball. But uh, the ref blow does not blow the whistle, and the play continues. Looks like Porta with the ball. Pass midfield. Tomato back to Alexis. McColl send it to Brian Baugh. Brian Baugh is going to send it forward. Big send to Medina. That pass is complete. Looks like Medina working it into the attacking portion of the field. Two men on. It's going to lose three men on. It's going to lose possession. But uh, Baze is going to get it. He's going to send it. Fisted out by Point Loma defense. Point Loma looking to counter number seven, Fuller, on the run. Dixie defense is going to stay on him. Looks like he has number 10 there to help. He's going to send it. It's going to go up and wide, a little high. Fuller with the uh, with the attempted shot there couldn't quite get it on frame. Looks like both teams now with six shots, still remaining one shot on goal for each team, and that one shot on goal have been a goal. Looks like Point Loma's drawn about three, excuse me, Point Loma's drawn about six fouls now. Dixie State with half that and about three fouls. Portha maintaining possession in the middle. It's going to send it to Mitch Wilkinson. Mitch Wilkinson's going to send it out wide. Dixie State still maintaining possession. Looks like Brian Baugh is going to switch it, a big switch to Baeza. Dixie State looking for the opportunity. Dominic D'Amato there. It's going to send it back to Baeza. Baeza, the give and go, is going to send it in. Looks like Christian Hall is going to get double teamed. He'll come back for it, but uh, he'll get piled up. The ref's having a word. Foul on Point Loma will result in a Dixie State free kick. Point Loma trying to have a word with the ref. He, he's saying none of that. None of that now. Ref's going to count 10. The ref will count 10, they'll line it up. Looks like Medina back to take the free kick. A good opportunity. Blocked by the wall. Looks like Brian Baugh with possession will send it out to Beza. Beza will send it forward to Porta. Porta will head it to Medina. Medina, work in the middle. It's going to have a go. Christian Hall is going to have a go. Good shot on goal blocked by the keeper. Dixie still maintaining possession. Mitch Wilkinson is going to attempt to bring it down. 
looks like a call foul. Great shot by Christian Hall. And a better save by Lozado. Point Loma defense. Working the ball back to the keeper who's going to look to send it far forward. One minute remaining in the first half. Looks like we're coming near a close to the first half. First half almost over. Point Loma trying to send it forward into the attacking range. Trying to make the most of their minute. Point Loma is going to send it forward. Beza's good defensive boot out. And a big send forward. Looks like Keeper's going to come out to take it. Just seconds left. Point Loma will send it forward. And it looks like on that note, it'll be halftime. At halftime, 45 minutes into tonight's match, Point Loma, Sea Lions 1, Dixie State Trailblazers 1. Uh, an exciting first half with both teams scoring. Uh, you know, good, good tap in by... Uh, by Point Loma there in the first few minutes and a great equalizer by Dixie State, uh, Moises Medina there. Looks like we're gonna take a small break here. We'll be back in, in a few minutes now. So uh, grab a drink, grab some food, take a quick siesta. We'll be back in just a bit for uh, the second half of tonight's exciting match. Thanks for tuning in again. My name's Kyle Cummings and uh, we'll see you here in a few.
Hello everybody, we welcome you back to Legend Solar Stadium here in St. George, Utah. We got a beautiful night tonight as your Dixie State Trailblazers take on Point Loma Sea Lions. They played a rigorous first half, Point Loma scoring in the first few minutes off of a well-placed corner kick. Then after some aggressive play, uh, Dixie State came back 30 ish about halfway through just over uh, you know the 35 minute mark to uh, put in another one or excuse me to put one in against Point Loma the equalizer and uh, it's all tied up here as we advance into the second half of play you know I gotta hand it to Point Loma they uh, they came out strong uh, from the second the whistle blew they were ready to go they were up and at it and uh, Dixie State was asleep. They were not ready for that. I'm excited to see here in the second half what both teams have to offer us. Thus far into the match, Dixie State has seven shots with two of them on goal, and uh, obviously one of them getting into the back of the net, while Point Loma Sea Lions have six shots with one of them on goal, and obviously that one getting into the back of the net. Dixie State, you know, in, in, in the previous matches between these two teams, Dixie State has won the last two consecutive matches. Uh, we know Point Loma's here. They're not they're not here to mess around. They're here to uh, really take it to Dixie State and, and get a W at Dixie State's home turf. And the whistle blows, and we'll begin the second half of tonight's match. Big boot by Dixie State. Dixie State, thus far into the season, 10 wins, 2 losses, and 0 ties. Looks like Point Loma and Dixie State attacking territory. But, uh, excuse me, Point Loma in their attacking territory, def defended out by Dixie State, who's going to work the ball down the far side of the pitch. As I was saying, Dixie State, 10 wins, 2 losses, 0 ties um, here tonight while your Point Loma Sea Lions looks like they are uh, excuse me, looks like they are 9 and 2 and 2, 9 wins, 2 losses and 2 ties uh, so both of these teams have plenty of wins under their belt and uh, equally 2 losses both of tonight are, are giving it their everything they, they want to come away tonight with a big win as you know, the season is coming closer to an end. Both teams are fighting to uh, take the Pac West Championship and and make it into the NCAA double NCAA tournament. Looks like Point Loma is going to attempt to work the ball forward. Brian Ball, big header to Moises Medina. Moises Medina trying to work it over. Good defense by Point Loma. Point Loma maintaining possession. Unlucky touch, Christian Hall. Looks like one-on-one, -on -one. Christian Hall's going to put it into the back of the net. Goal! Lasso! An excellent one-two pass, Christian Hall with just about a fr free one-on-one. -on -one. He'll put it into the back of the net. Great teamwork there. Again, Dixie State. Coming out one on one, and uh, a, a great goal, really. That assist goes to Dominic D'Amato. Uh, you know, like I, you know, Dominic D'Amato again read the defensive well, took advantage, and uh, really capitalized. It, you know, I, I thought personally, I thought Dominic D'Amato was going to take it down and, and give it a shot. But uh, he read the play, he read the defensive well, created the perfect opportunity, sent it to uh, sent it to uh, Christian Hall there on the close side of the pitch who netted it. It was a great goal. And that puts your Dixie State Trailblazers up 2-1. to one. Looks like that was, Don that was uh, Christian Hall's first goal for the season. You know he's excited about that. He's fired up and you know he wants another.
Point Loma in dangerous territory. Dixie State will boot the ball out of bounds. Looks like Dixie State defense will kick the ball to deflect off of Point Loma, go out of bounds for a trailblazer throw in. You know, just just a, a great goal, really. Got to got to commend, got to give kudos to uh, Dominic D'Amato and, and and Christian Hall there, as uh, you know they worked that beautiful pass by Dominic D'Amato and, and a beautiful goal, beautiful placement by Christian Hall. Looks like Point Loma will take a free kick. A quick, easy pass, number 11 of Point Loma. Looks like they're going to send it back to the defensive line. Point Loma defense trying to work the ball around, looking for an open channel. Looks like it's going to be another Point Loma free kick. Point Loma is going to work the ball toward the far end of the pitch and attempt to send it. A little too much pressure on that. And uh, the ball will go out of bounds for Trouble as a throw in. Throw in to Christian Hall. Good passing. Possession by Mitch Wilkinson. Mitch Wilkinson again in the middle is going to send it back to Brian Baugh. Brian Baugh back to Mitch Wilkinson. Looks like Mitch is going to send it out wide. Good look. Looks like Dixie State will lose possession as Point Loma takes over. Point Loma with lots of time. He's going to look to send it. No one there to receive, but uh, looks like Zach Nilsson, keeper, is going to keep it on the ground and send it out to number 20 of Robles. He's going to send it to Porta. Porta's going to send it wide. Looks like headed out of bounds by Point Loma. Trailblazer throw in. Trailblazer throw in once again. You know, I gotta I gotta hand it to John Coach Johnny of Dixie State. The, Dixie State Trailblazers. You know, he's done an excellent job. This is his first season at the helm uh, of Dixie State soc men's soccer, and uh, he, he's, he's done an excellent job. There's there's no doubt about it. You know, the, the numbers speak for themselves. Uh, but tonight, I, I really commend him as, you know, the, the, the lineup. Looks like Dixie State's going to have an opportunity. Oh, he's going to be pushed down. The referee's going to call a foul. It looks like we're going to have a penalty kick here, folks. Dixie State trying to go one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Defense is going to push him down. It looks like we are going to have a penalty kick here. Moises Medina is going to line up to take it. There looks like Point Loma is going to try and argue with the ref. Ref is going to say, no, 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 none of that. Definite foul. I, I have to agree with him. It was quite a push. And... Uh, Looks like goalkeeper is having some words. Goalkeeper is going to get back into the goal. Moises Medina is going to line up to take the kick. Here we go. Great opportunity for Dixie State. The fans are getting wild. Ref blows the whistle. Looks like the ref. 
ref looks like the goalkeeper blocked the PK, but Dominic D'Amato on the far end. I believe that was, excuse me. That was in fact Moises, no, excuse me, excuse me. That was Dominic D'Amato who came in. Another goal, I, wow, I, it just, it happened so fast down there. I, excuse me, it looks like Dominic D'Amato took the free kick, which was blocked by the keeper, but Moises Medina on the close side came up and finished it, put it into the back of the net for another goal. Looks like number eight and nine. Looks like I need to learn my counting skills. Number eight, Dominic D'Amato lined up for the free kick, or excuse me, for the penalty kick. Blocked by the keeper. You know, I got to hand it to the keeper. The keeper, Lasado, excellent save. But uh, Moises Medina there to recover and put it into the back. Looks like the fans are outraged. The ref didn't call it for Dixie State, but he's going to call it. For Point Loma, the fans are upset. Looks like there was a substitution here a minute ago. A few substitutions, excuse me. Looks like a Cole coming in for Jacob. And uh, Gallardo for Chris Rain. And Siegfried for Pergado. All Point Loma substitutions. Wow, I just, my mind is blown right now I, I, as we rewind the tapes for, you know, and, and just think and, and imagine that goal. That was, it was just incredible play by Dixie State. D'Amato took the free kick, a great keeping by Point Loma, but uh, nonetheless, Moises Medina there to scoop up the, the deflection and finish it into the back of the net. I mean, great, great teamwork, great follow-up. Just under 10 minutes now in the second half of tonight's match. Dixie State has already netted two goals. Uh, Moises Medina with his second of tonight's match and his eighth of the season. And uh, Christian Hall there just a few minutes after the half began. Christian Hall with one. It's uh, It's been an exciting half, exciting 10 minutes for the Dixie State Trailblazers as they now go up 3-1. to one. Great send by Christian Hall. Dixie State's going to try and get it into the middle, but uh, deflected out by Point Loma defense. You know, I'm sad. I'm sad. I was I was so stunned by by what was happening down there on the goal. I didn't even get to yell goal. But uh, nonetheless, great great work by Dixie State. Looks like Dixie State still maintaining possession. John Deere working the ball in the middle. He's going to send it back to the defensive line. Beza. Big send by McCall. Unfortunately, no one there to receive but Point Loma. Point Loma defense. Trying to swing it. Looks like they're going to send it back to the keeper. Again, I, I just, I got to commend Moises Medina with great follow-up. You know, that's something, something you're taught uh, from, you know, the minute you start playing soccer is you, you don't stop until the ball is, you know, out of bounds, until the whistle blows. You do not stop. You give everything. And a great follow-up can be the difference between a, a win and a loss. I mean, he can be the difference between, you know, a goal or not. And, uh, you know, great follow-up by Medina to finish that one. You know, at first everyone's like, oh, no, 
uh, we missed the PK, we missed the you know the one-on-one -on -one opportunity, but uh, nonetheless, oh, looks like Point Loma is gonna come in, and uh, yeah, it looks like Point Loma is gonna be awarded a card there. I believe that's number 23. Eduardo Gallardo, who just was subbed in not too long ago, looks like he's going to receive a card for taking out the keeper. And, uh, you know, I believe the referee made the right call here. The keeper clearly had the ball when he ran into him. You know, I, I respect aggression and I respect uh, giving your everything, but there's no need for, uh, for violent play. No need to injure someone here tonight. Looks like Zach Nielsen is up. He's okay. He's going to take the free kick. He's telling everyone to, to keep moving forward. He has a cannon on him. There it is. You can see it. Ball sells down the pitch. Good effort. Medina, excuse me, Dom, that was D'Amato. Again, mixing those two up, those eight and nines, you know, from this high up, they, they tend to look the same. Point Loma defense is going to try to work the ball forward. Dixie State has really just applied a very good amount of pressure. Looks like they're going to call that on uh, Porta. You know, I have to agree with the referee. That was a good call. Point Loma's going to take a quick free kick and send it forward. Point Loma in attacking territory is going to send it. No one there to get it. Christian Hall is going to lose possession. Point Loma trying to Trying to work it into the attacking field. Good defense by number 19 of Dixie State, Zach McCall. John Deere Porto working it. Medina's going to go inside and beat his man. A great flick out wide to number 20, Robles, who's going to send it forward. He's going to be tripped up. Looks like the fans get upset, but the referee says play on. Loma defense. You can tell they're frustrated down there. I don't know if you guys saw it a few minutes ago, but it looks like Point Loma defensive player number five and Moises Medina were having some words. Obviously not quite sure what was exchanged between Rodriguez and Medina, but uh, <laughs> you saw there Medina raise, raise three fingers and one finger. So, uh, pretty much can imagine the gist of the conversation. Looks like Dixie State trying to work the ball up and get another one. Medina with possession out wide. He's going to turn in. Unfortunately, he'll lose possession. D'Amato there with good pressure. State, Mitch Wilkinson will take the ball and send it to Medina, who's going to send it to Amato, back to John Deere. And Robles, and they're going to keep working the ball, trying to find that open passing lane. 
looks like Fuller of Point Loma is going to take an unnecessary stab and Godino will go down, but he's right back up. Rush going to have a quick word with him. Brian Baugh is going to send it into the box. Looks like headed by Christian Hall or the keeper. Couldn't quite tell there, but uh, keeper comes up with it. He'll roll it out to Point Loma. Looks like good defense, good pressure, I mean. It'll go out of bounds for Point Loma throwing on the far side of the pitch. Point Loma will try to send it forward. Looks like it'll go back to Zach Nielsen. He'll give it a big boot. Looks like a big send by Dixie State. Medina's going to try and get there. Can't quite make it. It'll go out of bounds for a sea line throw in. Mitch Wilkinson is not going to quite get there in time. Brian Baugh there to step in. You know, I gotta say I've been impressed with Brian Baugh as he leads the team's defensive end. Obviously, you know, they were they were asleep in the first few minutes and, and let a quick one in, but uh, since then have really, really got their heads on straight. They've woke up. They've uh, they've kept their lines tight, which uh, you know obviously you can you can see has done has done good things for them. Looks like we're gonna have a Dixie State substitution. Ricardo Villa will come in for John Deere Porta. You know, again, I, I, I already mentioned once I uh, had the opportunity to sit down with Brian Baugh this week and uh, talk with him about, you know, his opinion on the team, on the team's chemistry, and, and on the season so far. And, and while they've recognized, you know, they're not undefeated like last season, uh, you know, they, they, they can't complain. Ten and two, um, they're still uh, have an excellent season. Uh, you know, they're up three to one in tonight's match. You know, yesterday they played uh, Hilo – and uh, you know a two a 2-0 shutout. You know they they they've had a they've had a great season thus far, and uh, so you know he he like he you know he in his words that we can't complain too much. Tonight, you know I, I asked him what his mentality was going into tonight's match, and and you know he 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 straight up told me he said they're gonna come out with everything from the second the whistle blows, and and as and we saw that uh, early on, but uh, he said you know I'm really gonna work on keeping my keeping my defensive lines tight. Uh, keeping the defensive end on their toes and uh, really just trying to stop the ball from even, you know, l letting the other team take a shot. And uh, he's, he's, he's done an excellent job. I, I, I commend him. You know, the other team has only had one shot on goal, and uh, that one shot was uh, was obviously the goal they scored. Uh, but but nonetheless, they've only had one, and, uh, you know, that, that speaks for themselves. Point Loma is trying to pass the ball around, trying to find an open lane. Not much going on. Still playing defense. They're going to try and send the ball forward. On the far end of the pitch, looks like Zach McCall is going to be there to uh, send it out of bounds for sea line throw in. On the far end of the pitch now, they're going to cross it in. Looks like Zach Nilsson is going to be there to scoop it up.
looks like good defensive play by both teams really as they battle for the ball. Looks like Point Loma in dangerous territory after working the ball down. Point Loma is going to try and send it through. Looks like great pressure by Brian Baugh will send the ball out for a corner kick. Corner kick. It's going to slide right through everyone. Number 23, Eduardo Gallardo, is going to take a shot off. Uh, it'll deflect off the defensive player. Looks like referee is going to call a substitution. Player must, must have blood on him. like there's going to be a couple substitutions um, from both teams. Looks like Lucas Pertigado will be going in for Jacob and uh, Blake uh, D'Amato will be coming in for Moises Medina. Looks like Dominic D'Amato trying to work the ball. Dixie State will maintain possession. Brian Baugh is going to send it back to Zach Nelson. Looks like Point Loma trying to work the ball down. Dixie State looking to counter. There's Blake D'Amato. Takes the ball into the middle. He's going to send it. Looks like they're going to... Looks like they'll have a shot. Dixie State number 25. Ricardo Villa will have a shot. It'll just go wide on that left side. Sure got the fans excited. Dangerous play there. Christian Hall almost took a boot to the head. We'll have a sea lion throw in here. Still a lot of game to play, folks. If you're just tuning in, we have your Dixie State Trailblazers 3 Point Loma Sea Lions won. We are just, you know, just over halfway uh, into the second half. Still 20 plus minutes to play here, and a lot of opportunities for both teams. It could either, it can still go either way. And Point Loma cannot have the mentality that they're out of this game. You know, Dixie State scored two goals in this second half within the first 10 minutes of the half so uh, you know it's you know anything's possible
Looks like Point Loma is going to maintain or take possession there at center field. Fuller. Good footwork by Fuller. Looks like the referee looks like there's a foul on Dixie State. Referee's gonna gonna talk with his other his sideline referee who will uh, confirm that the foul happened just outside of the box. Looks like the referee's going to back him up 10 yards. Looks like number nine is going to attempt to get that in there, Mitch Whelan, but uh, good defense by Dixie State. It'll be headed out of bounds for a corner kick. Corner kick by Point Loma. Looks like it's going to make it into the back of the net on an unfortunate header. Dixie State, Trailblazers, three, Point Loma. Sea Lions 2 as uh, they get a header into the back of the net off that corner kick. You know, it's it's like I mentioned earlier, any anything can happen. You know, both these teams are still in it. Looks like Dominic D'Amato is going to try and send it into Christian Hall. Looks like some rough play on both sides. That uh, Point Loma goal scored a few minutes earlier. Looks like was put in by by uh, Mitch Will Mitch Wheelon. From Point Loma, assisted by Tim Siegfried. Dixie State in dangerous territory. Looks like we're going to have another Dixie, or excuse me, another Point Loma corner. Dixie State really needs to get on their area game as both goals scored today have been from corner kicks. Holy cow, lots of dangerous play with more Point Loma players than Dixie State players. And uh, a golden opportunity for Point Loma just couldn't convert and, and finish it. Kicked out of bounds for another corner kick again. In dangerous play, Dixie State really need, needing to tighten up their corner kicks. Point 
Point Loma again in attacking territory. Looks like number 19 of Point Loma, Tig Siegfried, uh, will have a shot. It'll go far left. Uh, got it. Got to commend it. Got to hand it to uh, him. He's had two assists tonight. Looks like we have a substitution. Moises Medina will be going in for Christian Hall. Both those players, key players in tonight's goals. Blake D'Amato up at the top. Dominic. Looks like some fancy footwork. It'll be called off sides on Blake D'Amato. Just a tooth, just a one point game now. You know, I told you guys at the very beginning tonight we would have an exciting match and uh, you know, that's, that's a promise that uh, has been delivered, no doubt about it thus far. And, and we still have, you know, 14 or 13, 14 minutes to play, you know, with Point Loma scoring in the first few minutes. Point Loma in dangerous territory Opportunity to score here. Scooped up by Zach Nielsen. Good shot on goal. Not quite enough power there. Zach Nielsen will recover. As I was saying, you know, it's been an exciting match. Point Loma scored in the first few minutes of the game. And uh, Dixie really came back and scored about the 30-minute mark to uh, equalize it. Uh, we went into halftime at 1-1. One to one, And... Uh, Dixie State really came out to play at, at the half, scoring within the first few minutes of the start of the second half, and then a few minutes later scoring again. And uh, now, you know, with another Point Loma goal, it's it, it's it's been a high-scoring game, and, and you know, this is exactly what the fans crave. This is this is what what you know the fans show up to see. You know, as as much as I love soccer, ain't nobody trying to watch a game where the score turns out zero to zero. You know, we, we want to see the action. We, we want to see the goals. And, uh, you know, the, the players have delivered that tonight and uh, still have the opportunity to deliver. They, you know, just under 13 minutes left to play uh, in, the, in the second half of tonight's match. Point Loma only down a goal, and, and since being down a goal, have had multiple opportunities to uh, equalize it. And again, they're in attacking territory. It looks like a cross. Robles of Dixie State is there to head it out. Unfortunate touch by Dixie State. They'll lose, lose the ball. Point Loma again. Good defense. Good defense by Dixie State. And the ball will go out of bounds for a uh, Dixie State goal kick. Zach Nielsen getting ready to take the kick. He's going to send it far. Looks like a push in the back on Point Loma. It'll result in a Dixie State free kick. Big send to uh, Blake D'Amato here on the close end of the pitch. Blake's going to try and work it in. Can't quite get it to anyone. Looks like Brian Baugh is going to step in and send it out of bounds for a sea line throw in. Fuller's going to throw it in. We're going to try and send it into the box. John Deere Porta is going to take possession and send it up to D'Amato. Tomano's looking, he's looking, he's going to send it to Medina, far wide. Medina trying to work it into the box. Medina's going to send it forward. He'll have a hit. He'll take another hit. Deflected by defense both times, can't quite convert.
Looks like there's going to be a card handed to Dixie State defense. Looks like that's Zach McColl down there, if I'm not mistaken. Yellow card given, and uh, the Sea Lions will take a free kick. Right there at center field. Sea Lions will send it forward. Looks like an unfortunate defensive play and uh, unlucky touch by Zach Nielsen. The uh, Sea Lions sent that free kick down to the far side who uh, sent it forward into the box. Zach Nielsen couldn't get a hold of it. Zach Nielsen couldn't quite get a hold of it and uh, looks like the Sea Lions did get a hold of it and were able to put it into the back of the net. Un unfortunate for your Dixie State Trailblazers, really. 10 minutes left of tonight's match. There's no time to get down for either team. Looks like Eduardo Gallardo put that one into the back of the net. His fourth goal of the season. As we near just under 10 minutes left in tonight's match. Looks like uh, your Point Loma Sea Lions are three. Your Dixie State Trailblazers three. It is anybody's game yet. Looks like Blake D'Amato is back to take a free kick. He'll send it into the box. Golden opportunity for Dixie State couldn't convert. And uh, Lasota is going to scoop it up and roll it out. Still anybody's match. Anybody's match as we hit the nine minute left mark. Zach McCall is going to send it out. Good defense by Dixie State. The ball got a bounce for yet another Point Loma corner. Dixie State really needs to be careful here. Looks like this is Point Loma's ninth corner of the match. They've scored on two. Brian Baugh, good defense. It's going to head it out and kicked out. Big kick by Dixie State. Looks like John Deere Porta is going to try and put pressure. Looks like Fuller for Point Loma has it in the corner. Trying to work it in. Looks like it'll be a yet another corner. Dixie State really needing to step up their defense on these set pieces. They'll send it in. Headed. Great header by Point Loma, but even better goalkeeping by Zach Nielsen, who will knock that up and over the bar. And they'll take another corner. This time the corner coming from the other way. Corner sent in. 
How did it? It'll go out of bounds for Dixie State throw in. I'm going to send it forward. Defense is going to boot it out of bounds. Looks like we have a uh, substitution. Christian Hall will be going in for uh, number 25, Ricardo Villa. Throw an opportunity here. Looks like Brian Ball back to throw it in. Big throw towards the middle of the goal. Bouncing around. Piled up into quite a few players there. Looks like it went out of bounds for a corner kick. Dixie State corner, another great opportunity here. Just a over just over five minutes left into the second half. Point Loma three, Dixie State three. It's all tied up here, folks. Dixie State corner sent in. Point Loma defense there, ready to receive and send it out. We're going to send it forward again. Blake D'Amato, who's going to receive, will send it out wide. Looks like Dominic D'Amato is going to try and work it in. Good defense by Point Loma. It'll go out of bounds for another corner. Looks like Blake D'Amato is there to take the corner kick. Dixie offense really needing to convert here in the final minutes. No one can get there, but he'll have a go. Unfortunately, it'll be wide into the side of the net. Looks like that might have been Medina there. He wanted to go. You know, these last five minutes are crucial to any game. The last five minutes, you know, the players at this point have been playing for 80 to 85 minutes. Uh, both of them are, are extreme, you know, both sides are, are tired. Um, you know, you're, you're tied up here, and uh, these last five minutes will, will make or break, you know, the, a win. You know, you, who, the team with the most amount of, of energy. <laughs> Looks like uh, Point Loma going to get one here in the last few minutes. Crossed over. Looks like that was Fuller down there. <laughs> Looks like we have an injured Point Loma player. Looks like still down on the field. We have an injured Point Loma player there in the uh, in the Trailblazers defending third. Not quite sure what happened there as everyone was excited about the uh, opportunity to put one into the back of the net. NCAA regulations state that uh, an injury in the last five minutes of the match, the clock does stop. So we are at a standstill with three minutes and 50 seconds remaining. Looks like Point Loma player is going to be subbed out. He'll be helped off the field. 
That last goal was scored by Fuller from Point Loma, assisted by Rodriguez, and it looks like it's his. Looks like it's uh, Fuller's fifth goal for the season. Looks like that's number ten. Finn Tideman will be carried carried off the pitch. And res play resumes. Big boot by Dixie State. Looks like we're going to have a Dixie State corner. Headed out by Point Loma. Dixie State looking for the opportunity. Blake D'Amato in the attacking third. It's going to pass it back to Porta. Porta's going to send it in. Nobody there but Point Loma to receive. Big boot by Brian Baugh. Send it forward. Looks like a uh, throw in for Dixie State. Brian Ball with a little bit of a limp there. He's going to throw it in. Big throw in. Referees called it. Looks like there might be another injury. There does happen to be another injury on Point Loma down on the field. Not sure if the players know that the clock does stop. Looks like a yellow card issued. Oh, excuse me. That yellow card was issued uh, a few minutes ago, I believe, on Fuller uh, for taking his shirt off, if I'm not mistaken, after scoring. Just over two minutes to play. Point Loma four, Dixie State three. Looks like that boot will go out of bounds for a uh, Point Loma free kick. Lasota telling his players to push up. Dixie State really trying to put the pressure on in these last few minutes. Blake D'Amato going to send it to Porta. Trying to work it, trying to find a passing lane. They're going to send it over the top to Brian Baugh. Porta is going to take it. He's going to send it out wide to D'Amato. D'Amato is going to try and send it in. It looks like Looks like there's a call. Might have been a handball there in the box is what I expect. It looks like there was in fact a handball in the box. And uh, this is gonna result in a Dixie State penalty kick. 36 seconds left in the match. Looks like Moises Martinez back to take the kick. This is it, folks. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Dixie State three point, Loma four. A handball results in a Dixie State penalty kick. Moises Martinez, here we go, folks.
Hart races. He's going to take the kick. It's in the back of the net. Goal! Lasso! An excellent PK taken by Moises Medina to tie it up. Dixie State 4, Point Loma 4 with just 36, excuse me, just seconds remaining. It is all tied up. And it looks like there's a very likely chance we'll be going into overtime. But uh, don't want to get ahead of myself here. An unlucky handball with seconds remaining in Point Loma is going to lose a goal to a free kick, or excuse me, to a penalty kick. Just seconds remaining now. And uh, looks like it is over. Full time is being called on tonight's match. Both teams will take a, a few minutes now to uh, rest and, and recuperate and uh, talk strategy. I mean, they just have a couple minutes now to talk strategy uh, as they get ready to advance into uh, double overtime, or excuse me, into overtime. What a great goal by Moises Medina, that uh, penalty kick. You, I mean, you can't ask for a better turnout uh, for, for the boys there as Moises, as Moises Medina sunk that one into the back of the net. I mean, it, it is his hat trick goal of tonight's match, his third and uh, his ninth of the season. It, it could not have come at a better time. You know, just myself getting, getting worried about there being seconds left and Dixie State being down one. Uh, and uh, just when you think it's all over, it's not. You know, what, what, what an incredible night we've had here at Legend Solar Stadium with, uh, you know, the Point Loma going up, then Dixie State coming and, and putting three uh, consecutive goals in, and then Point Loma coming back and putting two more in, and then Dixie State tying it up with seconds to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the, the – you could not ask for a better match. Exciting things happen as both teams are taking a few minutes to to uh, talk strategy, talk game plan as we roll into the overtime periods. Now remember, folks, NCAA uh, overtime, we have the golden goal, meaning if you score, you win. So both teams are going to be on the edge of their – you know, all the fans are on the edge of their seat as both teams will – will compete and, and fight to uh, put one into the back of the net first. We're going to take a, just a quick break here, a few minutes. Uh, don't go anywhere as uh, we have more to play as we roll into the overtime period.
All right, fans, we welcome you back to Legend Solar Stadium as we roll into overtime. For those of you just tuning in, uh, you've missed an excellent game. For those of you that have been watching, what an incredible night we have. My name is Kyle Cummings. I will be commentating tonight's match. And uh, we are rolling into overtime. Both teams, 4-4. Four to four. We've had some excellent goals. Uh, just when you think it's all over, it's not. Now we roll into overtime. And uh, NCAA rules play by the golden rule, the golden goal. So you score, you win as we roll into the first 10-minute period of overtime. Dixie State will take the kickoff. Both teams have now played 90 minutes. Both teams are fatigued. They're exhausted. They've been playing a long time. And uh, really, it'll come down to these last few minutes to see which team can endure and put in put one into the back of the net. Your Dixie Stale tra Trailblazers thus far into the season are 10 and 2. Point Loma Sea Lions are 9 2 and 2. Two ties and two losses. And uh, looks like Point Loma is gonna have a go, but uh, it'll head out of bounds for a Dixie State free kick. Or excuse me, a Dixie State goal kick. Headed by Christian Hall. Going to connect to quite a few players there. Bounce around a little bit. Looks like Point Loma is working the ball up in the middle, trying to... Trying to find an open lane. They got a man out wide. He's going to send it through. Scooped up by Zach Nielsen. You know, we, we, we've had an exciting night tonight. You know, as, as we went into the first 20 minutes of the match, you know, each team had shot maybe once or twice each. And, uh, you know, not, not too crazy there. But uh, as we've moved in throughout the match, you know, as we hit the 90-minute period, there's been 16 shots taken by Dixie State and 15 taken by by uh, Point Loma. Both teams having seven shots on goal, with uh, you know four goals each. It's it's been a, it's been an impressive night, no doubt about it. Looks like there's a Point Loma player down. The uh, refs are gonna refs are having a word, but uh, they're gonna call the ball back. And uh, it might just be a Dixie State free kick. Or excuse me, a Point Loma free kick. It looks like it will be, in fact, a Point Loma free kick in dangerous territory for Dixie State. Point Loma ready to take the kick. Dangerous play for Dixie State. They've struggled in their defensive set pieces. Just over. Nobody could quite get a hold of it. Just over. A result in a Dixie State goal kick. Big boot by Zach Nielsen, chested down by Loma, Point Loma. Point Loma on the attack again. Good defense by Zach McCall. Great defense. Unfortunately recovered by Point Loma. Dominic D'Amato, mid-range. He's going to send it forward to Christian Hall, who's going to Attempt to run it down the line. Kristen Hall is going to send it far post. Headed by Medina. Just wide. A great header. A great cross by Christian Hall. And an excellent header by Moises Medina. Will just go wide of that 
that uh, that close post. Great, great teamwork there. I thought that was going in for sure. Dixie State defense is going to give it a big boot. Nobody there but Point Loma. Good pressure by Dixie State. Dixie State throwing. Beza throw it in, headed by Point Loma a couple of times. He'll be out of bounds again for another trouble to throw in. Brian Baugh telling players to push. But uh, he's going to throw it back to the defense who's going to swing it. Point Loma on the def working into the Point Loma defensive side. Dixie State's going to send it out. Attempt to go through, can't quite get it there. Enrique Busio is going to try and cross it, but uh, deflected by by Point Loma. Zach McCall is going to scoop it up and send it back to Dixie State defense. Busio again on that far right side is going to send it forward to attempt to Christian Hall or or Medina on the far side, but uh, looks like Lasado. Keeper for Point Loma is going to be there to receive. Headed out of bounds by Dixie State. Just over three minutes to play in the first overtime period. What a match we've had tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Second point Loma throw in. Not quite sure what happened there. But uh, looks like Point Loma got a shot off and it slipped right through Dixie State's defense, right through the keeper and into the back of the net. Looks like Point Loma is going to win this one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, we appreciate you tuning in tonight. If you're not able to be here uh, in person, we appreciate you getting online and supporting these teams as they faced off in tonight's match. Uh, no doubt about it, no matter the outcome, we, uh, we, ha we had a great match tonight. It looks like your Point Loma Sea Lions will uh, – prevail five with five goals and a win with just three minutes left here in, in overtime. Dixie State with four goals. Both teams, you know, like I said, played great. And uh, and uh, we are we, we are proud of them for that. We invite you to, unfortunately, the next game for Dixie State Trailblazers will not be here at home. Uh, but we invite you always to uh, tune in and support as they hit the road and will be traveling to California as they have three more matches. Uh, they have a makeup match in addition. Um, we'll play Fresno Pacific on Thursday. Uh, excuse me, they have a makeup match on Tuesday and then play Fresno Pacific on Thursday, October 26th and wrap up the road trip at Concordia Irvin on Saturday, October 28th. Uh, again, my name is Kyle Cummings. I've been your commentator tonight. We, we again, we appreciate you fans. We couldn't do this without you. Uh, Signing off for Dixie State Trailblazer Men's Soccer. Thank you and have a wonderful night.